Hi everyone, you're watching Lala Tavreau and I'm Lala and today we are going to be taking a good look at some of my foodie decks. So today is Sunday and on Sundays I like to cook. It's just something I like to do. I like to set that tradition in my family and in my household and it gets me grounded and just feeling prepared for the week ahead. So I thought let's take a look at the foodie decks the decks that bring out that that cooking spirit that cooking energy and all of that good tasting food so that's what we're going to do i've selected um 10 decks for my collection and we're just going to take a look at those today so in no particular order i'm going to go ahead and get started the first deck that i wanted to take out is the kitchen magic recipe deck for witches so this is an interesting deck that came out i believe it was last year and i did do an unboxing of this video i talked to you guys about how i wanted to make it my own and i wanted to add some keywords just to make it functional and usable as an oracle deck because it's not an oracle deck uh, really so that is something I wanted to do. I love the fact that this deck has all of those good recipes on it and delicious, delicious treats and pictures that you can really, really get into. And like I said, on the back, it has those recipes, which is where I added my keyword, okay? So these are great for pick a card uh, readings if you wanted to just kind of add it as your... Um, you know your card for selection i think that's really nice i did again just put my keyword on the back and then there's that recipe if i want to jump into that and actually make the food item but i think this deck is so realistic with the with the food out of all of the decks i'm going to show you guys today this one obviously is the most realistic i love the pictures I love the fact that it gives you this breakdown of the recipes and exactly how to make it. Um, and I think this is really nice. Look at this. Doesn't that make you just want to go hop and jump and go get you one of those cinnamon rolls? I mean, it looks so good. And for me, I selected the word cycles from this one. So beautiful. Here we do have a sweet potato and honey pochet. And I selected reflection and it says on there a little bit about the food item it says sweet potato milk and honey the most iconic and in bulk foods in one big and delicious brioche shaped as the sun to honor the element of this sabbat so i love that it has kind of like those um seasons there for you so that you know exactly about when this item would be made and when it would be appropriate that's something that i'm definitely getting into a little bit more as I've collected those Seasons of the Witch decks as well. So maybe this would be something that's great to pair with it as well um, so that you have a food item, you know, as you approach that, that particular season. Some goat cheese and honey rolls. I selected Transition. It says these rolls are so easy to make. They are a beautiful and tasty snack and work well as a starter, okay? So this is one that I just, I, I like it. I don't know. I do. I really do. I like it a lot. And I like that I was able to just plop on a keyword right there and make it functional for me. All right. So let me know what you guys think about this particular deck. Um, again, I made it into an oracle. It's not technically that. It's more like a little recipe book. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. These are like recipe cards blueberry pancakes oh that looks so good and they're vegan oh my god i might have to actually make this one here so let me know what you guys think about this deck again this one is called the kitchen magic um deck and it's, it's not really an oracle it's a recipe deck for witches okay so you know if you want to get that check that out i'm sure it's a nice price by this time because it came out last year Okay, let's keep going. I do have 10 decks total that I wanna show you. And the next one, of course, is called The Witch's Kitchen Oracle Cards by Barbara Miko John Free and Flavia Kate Peters. I do have pretty much all of their decks. Um, I love this deck. I've been actually using it a lot lately. 
and it comes with this little silver gilding on there which is so shiny and pretty i love it and beautiful bags just makes you feel like you're that witch getting right there in the kitchen right <laughs> so this is a really beautiful deck i just love it and it will give you the actual food item as well as a keyword and if you look closely it's going to give you all of these different food items and ways that you can use this so for seaweed you have shampoo you have a lot of different items down there that you can in ways that you would use seaweed for mustard you have faith obviously we use it as mustard um i don't know what if that's some sort of like pea um you can use it on your cheeseburgers um you know there's a multitude of ways that you can use this for salt obviously we can use that in our bath with himalayan salt they talk to you guys about all these protection ways that you can use salt so it's just a really great um deck if you want to learn a little bit more about how to use food in your kitchen magic you know for cinnamon it seems like that's the one that keeps coming out today is cinnamon so maybe it's time to make some cinnamon rolls <laughs> because i keep seeing that one and they look delicious so i really like this deck a lot and I like that it's pretty simple. They they kept it simplistic. The backgrounds are all the same for us. You know, we don't really have to worry about changing that. We just, you know, focus more so on our food item and the keyword and all of the different ways, you know, that we can use it. And I like that simplicity of this deck. I think it's very nice. And the cards feel really good in your hand as well. So if you don't have this, definitely check out, you know, the, the Witch's Kitchen Oracle. It's been a while around for quite some time. Oh, look, Olive. See, you can make a martini there. You can eat them straight. You can have olive oil. I mean, there's so many ways that you can make. You can use olives, right? And this talks to you about that. And the guidebook is pretty, pretty neat as well. So yeah, this one is the Witch's Kitchen Oracle, and this is one of the faves in the collection. I like to use it a lot around springtime when I start to kind of think about pulling out, you know, those uh, spring decks, planting gardens, and things like that. This is a really nice deck to use, okay? Okay, no particular order. I'm just grabbing whatever is the first thing that I see. And the next deck that I'm going to grab for you guys is called the Housewives Tarot, okay? This is one I thought would be pretty fun to use. I haven't used it very often, to be honest with you. I really haven't, but I thought it would be great to bring out here in today's video as we talk a little bit more about that kitchen vibe. Now, look at the backs of those. That says kitchen all over it, right? So, if you're ready to cook, this would be probably one of those decks that I would bring out in my kitchen. And it's super cute. Has all of the knives and the, the cucumbers and all the little foods that a housewife would have. Um, and it's really cute. Let's see if we can get a few with some food items. I know they have some in here. So let's see if I can go through and grab a few. These aren't really giving them to us, but I know that there's like some pies in here and there's some drinks in there for the Two of Cups. How cute is that? Yeah, so you have your little mixer for temperance and you're mixing in a little bit of justice and anger and sorrow and joy. How cute, right? <laughs> And so I think this one is really cute and it's it's um it's a fun dinner timetable deck to have. I have a brownie with some cheese and coffee, some spork down there. So this one is pretty cool for our foodie deck collection. And I just thought that this would be great to bring out on a good Sunday. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one, if this is one that you've picked up at any point, and um, if you think this one is pretty fun to use on a good Sunday. 
this is the housewives tarot and i think it's it's pretty cute i i really do like this one a lot and i think it's really super cute all right so let's go ahead and move forward and take a look at the next deck and the next one i'm gonna show you all is one that is an all-time favorite for me personally in my collection this deck is one that I have a very special relationship with and um, I should be edging this one soon. I don't know why I haven't done that. I just haven't gotten around to it, but it's the Herb Crafters Tarot and this is a favorite for me. Um, I feel like there we go already getting some food <laughs> i feel like it's not a food specific deck but it definitely does make you want to go ahead and get in that kitchen it does make you want to start cooking and um getting into that apothecary sort of sort of mood here so even now just starting here we have california poppy it'll tell you all about the herbs and it's all about using those herbs and cooking with them and mixing with them and i love that we have blackberry and they're making a pie. So on a good Sunday, this is one that I, I like to get up and use. It'll certainly get me in that cookie mood. How cute is this? Chamomile and just making some tea. And having your little baby help you out there with the page of cups. Yeah, this is one that definitely gets me in that cooking mood and that cooking vibe on a, a good Sunday. And I love that. Tell me that doesn't make you want to go ahead and get in that kitchen and, and put something together. How, how cool is this? This is the Herb Crafters Tarot. And I'm sure a lot of you have seen this before. Let me know, is this deck put you in that cooking mood? Does it make you want to go ahead and start to use those herbs and those ingredients and get in that kitchen and start whipping something up? Is this one of your, your favorite Sunday decks? Let me know below. Okay, let's keep going. The next deck I'm going to show you all, like I said, there's just no particular order because I'm just grabbing whatever I see, whatever is closest to me. So the next one I am going to talk about is going to be the Bumbleberry Hollows Tarot deck. And this is an independent deck. I've had this deck for quite some time and I just thought it was just so cute when I saw it. I just, I wanted to make sure I got it because it's just the cutest little deck. I love it. It really plays into my inner child a lot. So let's talk about that. I'll put the guidebook to the side for a moment. So let's talk a little bit about this one. This is a really playful deck for me. It is, into, uh, you know, it goes into uh, my inner child uh, collection. And one of the things that makes this a Sunday deck for me is that it's full of pies. It's full of apple pies and all these baked pies for cooking. And it's, it's really nice. Look at that. The Queen of Swords and she's making a cake and cutting slices like I don't know this deck for me just puts me in that cookie mode but more so in a fun way you know like let's just have fun with the cooking let's have fun with making us a pie and presenting that to our families so they have like apple pies for those um or this one I think it's a cherry pie for the pentacles and I do think they also have some apple pies in here too we have pomegranate. And it's super cute. It, again, it just brings out a lot of my childhood vibes and, and wanting to, to get in there and cook. And I think this is cute too for those of you who are just inexperienced in the kitchen. You know, this adds that playful twist to it. 
So it makes you want to get in the kitchen in a fun way. Not necessarily like, okay, I'm about to get in here and like throw down, you know, but I'm going to get in here and do something fun and playful and just whip up something. So this again is one that I love. I think it's super cute and it gets me in that cooking vibe with no pressure, no pressure at all, just to have fun and enjoy, you know, the craft of cooking itself. So this is the Bumbleberry Hollows Tarot deck. And you guys let me know below, you know, if you've heard of this one before, or if you happen to have it, let me know. All right, let's take a look at the next one here. So let's see where we are. We've looked at five so far and so we have five left to go the next deck we are going to look at is called the chocolate lovers message cards i'm so happy i have this deck because it's now out of print and i would have been so sad if i wasn't able to pick this one up it's a little small deck it's not a huge deck at all but it's super cute it's full of chocolate who doesn't love chocolate you know toffee centered chocolate it has all of these different chocolates on there success passion choices and then on the back it has an expanded meaning for your card so you can kind of go into that a little bit it's so cute tell me this deck isn't stinking cute and it almost looks like you have like chocolate smudges on the top it's so cute I love that. And look at how delicious those chocolates look. Oh my God. Oh yeah, I can eat all of that. Makes you want to go to the mall and go to one of those fancy little chocolate stores and order something that you know you shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Baking chocolate boredom. Let's pull one. I just want to see really quickly, like what is our chocolate here? This is so good. Oh, I want all of this. <laughs> That's another thing with like my little foodie decks. Like, I don't know. I just, I like to look at them sometimes and say, oh my God, it looks so good. Like, I know I can't have this stuff. I can't be eating this stuff, but it, man, does it look so good. So it's great to have this so you can at least dream about it, right? So let's pull one since, you know, we have the deck out here. Let's go ahead and pull us a little foodie chocolate and just see what is our, our message. How about that? A little small miniature deck, super cute. Oh, we already got one. Hold on. It's here. Okay, so we've got the... Chocolate coated Sontanas. Success. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm all about that success, baby. And it says, it is a competitive world. So when you find yourself faced with stiff competition, you may need to breathe deep and believe in yourself more than you have ever had to before. Hold your head up high and have faith in yourself. Trust that you will make the right decisions. Know that whatever way you go will be successful. Stay confident, believe in yourself. I am always successful in whatever I choose to do. I believe and trust in myself. Okay, so this is the message here of success. You know, I'm all about that here, baby. We're all about success here on La La Tarot. We ain't going nowhere else but up. What? Stop playing with me. You guys already know how we do. Yeah? Let's pull another message. I don't know why I'm wanting to do that, but let's pull one more. I just like this deck so much. There we go. All right. And we also got Chocolate Fountain Abundance. Come through, spirits. Stop playing with me, y'all. Do y'all see this? Yes. Chocolate Fountain is raining abundance for us. Yes. This card affirms that despite how things may feel, life is overflowing with abundance. Your hard work has paid off and now is your time to reap the reward physically, emotionally, and spiritually. You are on top of the world. Embrace the incoming tide of positive energy. Go with the flow, accept 
blessings with gratitude and know that you are brimming with abundance and good fortune. Abundance is all around me. Abundance is my natural birthright. Oh, I love that so much, you guys. I love it. See what I'm saying to you? If you guys watched my last video, I think we were on talking about the Seasons of the Witch, that new Llamas Oracle that came out. And I did, you guys, a little small pull. And I talked to you all about that harvest time and how you were on top. I said, put me in 222 in the chat or at 777 in the chat. And a few of you did. Let me know how that's working out for you. You know, it's, it's, it may be slow, steady progress. But look, let me tell you something. You guys see what I'm pulling for you, that abundance and success, it's right there for you. So that again was the Chocolate Lovers Message Cards. It's a beautiful deck and it's one of my favorites to pull, especially when I'm working with like inner child and childlike stuff. I like to put a little food and chocolate in there and stuff. It just makes me happy. Okay, next we're going to talk about... Oh, the Eye Candy Oracle, and this one is here, is by V Love and Crystals. I do have it mixed in with another deck by her as well, so we'll need to probably separate that then, because I have it mixed in with like a coffee deck for, that um that I also bought by her, so you'll see that I have like two different backings. We have the um, Eye Candy Oracle, which is super cute, full of candy, and then I have like this little coffee deck. I mean, I guess both of them are kind of like food, if you will. So it's super pretty and it has like a little keyword down there for you. And um, I really love this. This is all for like food for me personally. And, um, you know, if I really want to get into having some food and stuff, this is it. So we have the coffee mixed in with the candy. And so I'll just kind of show you guys both of these together, I guess. So maybe this will be like our little bonus deck and it'll be 11 decks instead of 10. This one here is the coffee. Yeah, lots of coffee. And I actually, I gotta make me a, a um, cappuccino tomorrow with my cappuccino machine. I didn't do it this morning and I really wanna make sure that I do that I just love making me like a little cappuccino or latte in the morning. It's so good. And it's such a good way to get your day started. Look at this. Oh, don't you just want to be right there to grab this stuff and pick it up? It's so pretty. You can almost smell the coffee beans and how good it would smell if this was right in your room. I love it. Let's see if we can get a few more candy items from our eye candy oracle. Let's see. I got a lot of the coffee ones here. Let's see. This is cotton candy. I told you guys I, I like shopping with V Love and Crystals. I love her collection. I love all of the decks that she makes, and I have I have a number of them. I have at least at least nine of them, and that's me being like <laughs> that's me being like humble. Like okay, I only got like nine. Mm, I don't know. I could have a little bit more. I don't know. I don't really count decks anymore. I just let my collection do its thing, so I don't really count everything. But yeah, it's super cute. I love shopping with V Love and Crystals. Her decks are just amazing. Look at how good this stuff looks. Tell me you don't want some of that pumpkin pie there. Oh, it's so good. Oh, tell me you don't want a little bit of pie with some little cappuccino or latte. Come on. This is so good. Okay. So here we have it, and I'm going to stop right there because you guys can see there's so many cards. I have tons because I mixed two decks together. And this, again, is the Eye Candy Oracle by B11 Crystals as well as, I think it's called like a Coffee Cup Oracle. I don't have the name of it on here, but it's I think it's her Coffee Cup Love Oracle or something along those lines. Okay, so let's see, what else do we have next? 
three more decks. And the next one we're going to take a look at here is the Green Witch Oracle. And this is the one I decided to put in here. It's not, you know, primarily a foodie deck, but there's definitely some foods in here and it puts me in that cooking mood. So I want to include this deck for that. See, it already has the lemon there and it has a fig. It also has some flowers, you know, we have our lettuce, definitely has foods, cucumber. I really like this deck. It's so simple and easy to use and it, it really gets straight to the point. And that's one of the things that I love about this one. I've had it for so long and I haven't had to edge it or anything like that. It, it just... It stays in its natural condition, and um, I like this deck a lot. Chili peppers, grapes. Yeah, this deck makes me want to go grocery shopping or get in that kitchen and pull some things out, make a little salad or fruit salad. So healthy, and that's what I like about this one. Tomato, love, the basil. So let me know below how you feel about this one. We've got some peas there and some cauliflower. This is definitely one of my foodie decks and it just puts me in that cooking mood, healthy eating, grocery shopping sort of mood. Um, and I really do enjoy this one a lot. So let me know what you guys think about this one. Again, this is the Green Witch Oracle. It's super beautiful. And I've had it since the since the start of time. <laughs> and it, it just, it's, it's, I don't know. It's definitely safe here in my collection. Okay. The next deck I'm going to show you is really fun and awkward. Um, this one here is called the Donut Lover's playing cards so this is really interesting i was very um surprised to find it now it does have this really sturdy little box and then under that you'll get the playing cards and it does have a little card to tell you what all of the donuts are um if you want to take the time to read that here's the little backs of them super cute and then you have your little donuts on there. And I just thought this was so cute to add to a little reading, especially when I work with my inner child. I like to throw some candy in there, just making it lighthearted. I like to throw donuts and foods and stuff in there to make the reading a little bit more lighthearted. And this is a playing card deck. What's your favorite donut? Let me know below. What's your favorite donut? I'll have to say I like the just plain powdered donut or glazed donut. Those are my only, the only two donuts I really will eat. And I won't eat any donuts that have any filling inside. I hate that. <laughs> I know that's weird, but I just like a regular glazed donut or a powdered donut. That's it for me. So... These are super cute and fun to, to use in a reading if you want to top it off with, you know, just something, something fun, something to bring out that lightheartedness. I think these are really nice. So looks like we have vanilla cream donut twice. Look at that, guys. Interesting. I've never noticed that before. Yeah, this is me, the original glaze. Just simple and perfectly glazed donut and i'm satisfied so there you have it the ice cream burger sounds interesting too so let me know you know what is your favorite donut you know when you go to the grocery store first thing in the morning and they make those donuts nice and hot and fresh and you go pick out your donut which one did you grab which one let me know <laughs> All right, let's pull a card just to see what's our donut here. What is our donut today? This have a, um, these cards actually have a linen finish. 
So they're actually really nice quality as well. Donut lovers playing cards. Okay, so we had a couple donuts that wanted to fall out. Let's take a look and see. The Four of Hearts, the Four of Cups, a triple chocolate salted caramel. Triple whammy of chocolate goodness. Mmm, Four of Cups. I don't like that. I don't like chocolate too much, but let's see. And a sugar donut, irresistibly simple. I might like that. That might actually be really good. We have the king of pentacles the four of cups i can read these two different ways you know if we wanted to apply this to a reading i mean there could be an earth sign um that misses you who feels like there's a missed opportunity there could be a business opportunity that you feel like you missed out on or that you've recently rejected this business opportunity um yeah I can read that any which way. There could be earth sign. Maybe you're rejecting and you're saying thank you, but no thank you to. Um, yeah, I can read this a number of different ways. But our chocolate here is the, or our donut. I'm still thinking about that chocolate. Oh, so good. <laughs> we have the triple chocolate salted caramel donut and the sugared donut. Mm. Let me know, guys. What's your favorite donut? This is the Donut Lover's playing card super sweet simple and just fun deck to use and it has this really cute little container for you as well so you can just kind of stuff your cards inside of there and and close it up and it'll be just fine all right so the last deck that we're going to talk about here is the trick-or-treat tarot and this is the last deck that i'm going to include in my little foodie decks and I don't know, something just, for me, it made me want to include this one. I don't know how much food is actually really in this one because I didn't really go through. But I recall from the last time I used it that it had some treats. You know, it is called the Trick or Treat Tarot. So this is one that I really like. I did edge mine in this um, lime green color here and i'm excited to bring this one out for halloween that's coming up oh see it does have some food right away we have a cake a bat cake there and this is one i thought would just be really cute to bring out and it has to have some treats for us right because it's all about trick-or-treating so it should have some food for us somewhere in here let's take a look we got a little basket with some bread and some apples and treats in there. And I just like this one. Especially with the fall approaching soon, I'm ready to bring out all of my little Halloween decks and stuff. So this is what I've just been looking at and saying, yeah, I'm ready. You know, I'm ready to work with you and see what you're all about again this year. So let's see if we can find a little bit more treats here for us. This is the Trick or Treat Tarot. It has some, some little candies for us. And it's super cute and playful. Again, I, I like bringing some play to my Sunday and just trying to get grounded and, and a good spirits for, for the week ahead. And so this is a deck that I really like and it helps put me in that playful childlike mood. So we've got some treats there for us. So let me know below, you know, what you think about this one. Does this put you in that little um, cookie mood or just having some treats, candies, having some play? Um, what kind of mood does this deck put you in and, and let me know below. Definitely uh, brings out a little bit of that food vibes for me too. And again, this is the Trick or Treat Tarot here, ready for that for this Halloween season ahead. So guys, let me know. This is it right here. Very beautiful deck. And um, those were my 10. Those were my 10 foodie decks. Um, do you have any of these? Uh, what do you think about them? And what kind of mood do they put you in? And, and let me know, what's your food collection? What do you have in your deck collection that represents food? 
So again, you know, here are some of the decks that we took a good look at today. Um, just nice, fun little decks to work with and, and that I really enjoy in my collection. The Housewives Tarot, we got the Kitchen, Witch, uh, Witch's Kitchen, and the Bumbleberry Hollows Tarot is one that I really love. And um, the Love and Crystals Eye Candy Oracle. So just a lot of really good stuff. Too much that I can, can't even really fit on the screen right now. But you guys will have to let me know below what you think about each of these. The Donut Lovers Playful Deck right there. And just let me know. Um, you've been watching a video of my foodie deck collection. Give me the thumbs up, like, share, subscribe if you're interested. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.